is very interesting uh, information because it show how the people still thinking that uh, um, it is not possible to do anything, uh, nothing against this disease. And this means that people have a um, passive role in uh, reduce, uh, you know, a passive role uh, and they are not um, taking action, uh, an active role on in terms of modifying their behavior or their style of life. 70.1 percentage of people think that dementia is caused by normal aging. These are another important data because show that two things. One, that there is a misunderstanding about aging and normal aging, and that people, uh, they don't have knowledge about what are the causes of dementia. And more interestingly is this, that 72% of healthcare practitioners think that dementia is a normal part of aging. And I think for us as a group where maybe in the future we may think to uh, create events or activity to um, promote awareness, we should consider these uh, numbers and think about uh, uh, the important to target uh, healthcare practitioners, so people that are working in health uh, healthcare system, and provide them training seminar, which could improve the, the knowledge and the understanding about the disease. Um, Ninety-five percentage of public think they will develop dementia in their lifetime. Um, I also have this data because I think it's interesting. It means that a lot of people, uh, they are afraid of this. And um, there is um, um, a, a quote of a journalist that I would like to share with you. Her name is uh, Pippa Kelly, which say that stigma stems from fear and fear breeds silence which in turn perpetuates ignorance and misunderstanding. So I think that it is important that uh, um, to support people and help them to understand that dementia is not a normal part of aging and is is way to uh, prevent this and reduce the, f the fear related with this disease. Um, Twenty-one percentage point seven of people think dementia is a result of external force like bad luck. So this is uh, had um, you know underline how is important to act on this twenty-one percent and make sure that people uh, think that dementia is a result of a multiple factor and some factor can be modified by taking action across uh, um, the life course or lifespan. 82% of people would like to uh, will take a genetic test to learn about their risk. And 45% of response think that the lifestyle factor play a part in developing dementia. So this is, can be encouraging, but at the same time, uh, just a little bit more than half of the, of the target of this survey think their lifestyle factor play a role. So we need to um, go and speak to the rest of the population and make sure to increase this uh, uh, percentage. And I also had this other data that say that men are more likely to hold stigmatiz uh, stigmatizing views about the mention than woman. And this is can be interesting if for later, um, if we are thinking at some events, is important. I think we have to consider and uh, take in consideration the fact that uh, probably we need to create uh, some activity event in order to reach this specific target that can be uh, men respect women. Age 
of the lifespan, there are a few factors that are more important than others. And I think that this infographic can provide us two points of reflection. The first is that prevention is not just about individual, but it's also about the policy. It's important that uh, government and nation are working together to create uh, um, policy that enable um, change of style of life and promoting health, um, health styling uh, uh, and quality of life across the, all the life. Um, and the other reflection is about then it's possible to create and thinking about specific action that can be undertaken. And uh, I suppose that uh, the research should progress to find uh, uh, specificity, some specificity in, in terms that what intervention works best in one specific moment of the life and uh, what kind of intervention we can um, provide to uh, create awareness or um, target specific uh, behavior that can be smoke or um, physical activity, for instance. Um, and this is open another topic that is about uh, uh, researching the best way uh, and the best program for a specific target of population to uh, share the, the knowledge and uh, transfer um, the scientific funding um, in order to modify the behavior, motivate and modify the behavior of people for uh, and promoting a health, um, health style of life and brain health. The last slide that uh, we want to share is um, uh, a sort of uh, uh, hoping and uh, this lady with a bicycle uh, that is riding for, um, for word. And uh, I think that um, what the message that we want to share, the fact that the research can progress and do more. And uh, what we, we ask ourselves is how, as a group, we can contribute to dementia prevention and care. Here, there is the reference. If I think that later maybe we can share this slide, but uh, in case uh, uh, you can find the reference on the bottom of the slide.